the Gulfport, Mississippi Courthouse. You don't want to find yourself on the wrong side of the law. What's up, everybody? We're at the Mississippi Aquarium. Is it just the Mississippi? <laughs> I didn't know what it was called for a second. And uh, hopefully we'll bring you some cool stuff that you'll enjoy seeing. Yeah, newly opened. As we enter the aquarium, we can see the logo and these three sails that represent the three pillars that the aquarium is built on. Education, community, and conservation. We are excited to be here in Gulfport for the opening of the aquarium. Now this is day two, their grand opening. They had a sold out crowd and we are excited to bring it to you. So sit back and relax. As we make our way past the ticket booth into the outdoor attraction area of the Mississippi Aquarium, we have been greeted by so many staff. They're so friendly, so helpful, and they are excited to show off their new digs. And to the tune of $93 million, I don't blame them. It looks fancy, it looks nice. There's an outdoor aviary. There is a recreation of a bayou complete with the aquatic life that you would expect to see there. There is really something for everybody. Can't touch this. I, I mean, it literally says touch this. Our first stop here is to see the American alligator. And one of the cool things about the aquarium, they have actually attracted staff from the Georgia Aquarium and even the Bronx Zoo. How awesome is that? The Mississippi Aquarium sits on 5.8 acres of land, has more than 80,000 square foot of attractions. Now, not all those attractions are open, but many of them are, and they have so many plans for the future. <laughs> it's so also excited to have my parents with us again. They are celebrating 42 years of marriage. Many plans for expansion of the aquarium already. There's gonna be a building dedicated to traveling attractions that they will be rotated in and out. And the first attraction has already been slated to be penguins. So you will want to see those. And now we'll go over to the aviary. And for those of you bird lovers, the Mississippi Aquarium has got you covered. Lots of species that are native to the area, including some from around the world. So now we'll leave our fine feathered friends and we will go inside the aquarium attractions await. And as we enter the touch tank area, we wash our hands and get ready to interact with some invertebrates. I promise you, you can touch this. Like everybody needs a big day off. Thank you. 
any of our animals, we ask that you raise your hands off. And you can flipping, moving, or pulling out of the water. The water is spreading in all of the dead oxygen, so they need to remain in it. You having fun? Mm -hmm. Did you use the proper techniques to touch the animal? I didn't touch any of the animals. Will you use the proper techniques if you do touch the animal? If I touch an animal, yes, I will use the proper techniques. You heard it here. So our tour began up on the third floor and now we are making our way down to all the different attractions. We make our way down the hall to enter the tunnel. Now what is unique about this tunnel, you may be saying, well, Aaron, all aquariums have tunnels. Well, not quite like this one because this tunnel is in the middle of the aquarium most of the time they're on the bottom so you have water above you you have water below you and it makes for a completely unique 360 degree experience and it was pretty awesome And here we find a, a veritable aquarium celebrity, Banner the Sea Turtle, named after Bruce Banner, of course. Uh, Banner came to the aquarium because of extensive injuries suffered from a boat propeller. Now he has been nursed back to health by aquarium staff, but those injuries were serious enough that he can't be released back into the wild. So now he has a permanent home. And Banner, I should mention, is an endangered green sea turtle, hence the name.
All right, and that brings us to the end. Unfortunately, all good things have to. We hope you've had a good time. Thank you for coming along with us. There's lots to see and do here at the aquarium, and it's just going to keep getting bigger and better. We uh, have everything in the world great to say about the staff. They were so kind, so helpful, and uh, really were excited to be greeting guests. There was a lot of fun interactions had. There were families everywhere. Everybody was socially distancing, and uh, the aquarium is being cleaned at all times. You will enjoy it. There's a, a huge gift shop that we enjoyed going in. And we didn't see the otters, but hopefully you will when you come. We didn't know where they were. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody.